Hey everybody, Fred here, TFG Media. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, so if you're like me and still using the classic editor to develop your posts and pages, and you've completely turned off the Gutenberg editor, I'm here to tell you today, Gutenberg is still slowing down your website. Now you can see in front of you, I'm working on a post that goes over core web vital optimizations, and page speed load time is one of them. I mean, how fast your website loads is hugely important to how Google is ranking websites moving forward. And so I'm going to show you, starting with this video, some optimization techniques that will get rid of things that you don't need loading on your website if you're not using them, starting with Gutenberg. So I just want to go over to PageSpeed Insights for one second. And if you run your website through this free tool that Google offers, you're going to get this heading here, Eliminate Render Blocking Resources. And you can see there are two style sheets that is being loaded. And these style sheets are for the Gutenberg block library. And there's no need for this to be loading on my website if I'm not using it because I'm using the classic editor. And you can see it's taking almost a half a second to load these style sheets each time somebody comes to my website. So I'm going to show you in this video how you can turn this off using a very lightweight plugin that's going to be great for entering your own code that will disable this and a whole bunch of other optimization techniques that I'm going to show you in later videos. So that's what we're doing in this video. Let's get going. Okay, so before we get going, I do want to say if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing, smashing that notification bell so you know when I'm dropping new videos, and giving me a thumbs up if you learned something in this video. All right, so before I get into this little tweak that we're going to make to disable the Gutenberg style sheets, I want to say plugins will slow down your website. Now, you know, before you do anything, I want you to go into your WordPress website and do an audit on the plugins you have running. If you're running plugins that really aren't adding much value to your website or to your users, then you should strongly consider disabling them and deleting them because I'm telling you right now, they're slowing down your website. Now, I am going to have you, like I said in the intro, I am going to have you install a very lightweight plugin, but this plugin is superb because it's going to allow us to manually add PHP code, HTML code to our WordPress site without having to go into cPanel and editing the files manually. And then of course, if your theme gets updated, if you're not running it in a child theme, you know, these, up, these code updates that you're making are gonna get overwritten. So this plugin is hugely vital. I recommend you have it installed, especially if you're comfortable going in and, and doing some PHP coding. Okay, so the plugin I'm talking about is Code Snippets. So let's head on over to my WordPress site here and get Code Snippets installed. Okay, so just like any plugin that you're going to install, just go into the install a new plugin. I typed in Code Snippets here, and you can see it's the first hit. It's got over 200,000 active installations. It's a great little app. It's a great little plugin for your WordPress site. I highly recommend you get it installed because we're gonna be using it in this and subsequent videos to make optimization tweaks to your website so that your page load time goes down and your speed score goes up. So let's just go ahead and just install that. And we're gonna go ahead and activate it. And once it's activated, we're going to go in. I'm going to show you where you can get the code to put in here and disable those style sheets from Gutenberg from loading on your website. Okay, so you can see that I've got code snippets installed here on the left. If you just click on that and you can see they've preloaded a bunch of examples uh, that you can, you know, that'll help you get started with it. And I should put a disclaimer out here, guys. I mean, you're going to take this code as is. 
There is a chance, there's always a chance if you start manually adding PHP and HTML that you could break your website. And so I, I want to put a disclaimer out there. I assume no liability for any of this. I mean, I'm doing this for educational purposes and to help you optimize your website. But I do recommend if you are going to make changes, especially changes like this, where you're going in and adding functions and PHP code to your WordPress site, that you do it on a stage website. You don't do it on your live website because you could break your website. And so again, a full disclaimer, use at your own risk what I'm gonna show you here today. Okay, so you've heeded my warnings and you wanna proceed eliminating the Gutenberg style sheets from loading on your website so that you can squeeze out a little more speed out of your page load time. All right, so the first thing I want you to do is I want you to head on over to TFG Media uh, slash Core Web Vitals Optimizations. And this is a post I've put up that goes over 11 Core Web Vital Optimizations that you can implement. And again, there's a bunch of them here. I'm going to cover the Gutenberg one right now. And then in later videos, I'm going to cover some more of these. However, I just want you, you can read through the, the post. I mean, I talk about, you know, page speed insights, what to look for, what core uh, web vitals are and how it's going to impact search ranking. Again, another disclaimer, you know, this code is as is use at your own risk, of course. And you can see the first optimization here I have is disable Gutenberg block library CSS. So what I want you to do is I want you to come over here and I'll zoom into the URL so you can get a good look at it. And I want you to just basically copy all of the code that I've provided here that's going to disable or remove those CSS files from loading on your website if you're no longer using Gutenberg. So go ahead and do that. And then we'll head back over to code snippets and paste it in. And I'll show you how to get that active. Okay, so you can see I'm back in my WP admin back at the code snippets plugin here. And what I want you to do is I want you to choose add new snippet. And you want to give it a, a meaningful title here. So we're going to call this Disable Gutenberg CSS Style Sheets. And then all you have to do is paste in the code we copied from the website previously. And that should be good enough to get going. Now, a couple of things. We want to run this snippet everywhere. So no matter what page or what posts we're on on our website, we're not loading Gutenberg CSS style sheets anymore. And you can leave the priority at 10. It should work just fine there. And what I want you to do is just click the save changes and activate button. And with any luck, we have not broken our website and we're no longer going to be loading those. So let's go ahead and just make sure that our, our website still loads. No problem. So I'm just going to go here and go back. And bang, it looks like everything's loading perfectly fine. And so let's head back over to PageSpeed Insights now and see if that CSS sheets are still being loaded. Okay, so I've just rerun the site through PageSpeed Insights and you can see I'm no longer loading the Gutenberg Block Library CSS sheets and potentially saving myself valuable fractions of seconds on my page load time. And so again, I'm gonna go through several optimization tweaks that we can implement to squeeze out better page speed load time and thus improve our core web vitals as a result. Now the challenge is going to be, okay, going over to page speed insights, looking through the list to see which ones can we safely turn off and which ones can't and which ones are, if we do, are gonna break our website. So again, use this with caution, stage your website, don't do this stuff on an actual live running website because you're just asking for trouble. So this is Fred, TFG Media. Head back over to the website and read the article, 11 Core Web Vitals Optimizations. Again, I have a whole host of other optimizations. You can try to squeeze out that page load time. However, I'm going to do follow-up videos for some of those other tweaks. So this is Fred. Thanks for watching.